Hello, this is Christian from Compact Cooking on the Hipster Gypsies YouTube channel, and today we are going to cook a flatbread, like pizza-like thing on the stovetop, and uh, it's really cool. It's going to have mushrooms and chicken and mozzarella and all sorts of things. Um, if you know anything about breads or pizza dough or quick breads, it needs to rise. So in here, I've got a little bit of water with some um, rapid rise yeast in it by Fleischmann's. And I've got some King Arthur bread flour. So here's what I'm gonna do. Uh, I've, I haven't, I don't really measure anymore because I've been doing this so, for so long, but there are recipes that you can look up and uh, they'll tell you measurements that you can use for this sort of thing. Tons of them all over the place. So, but here's what I do, I do it by feel. I just put some, put some flour in there. I'm just gonna mix it around with my hands. I'm gonna feel how wet it is compared to how dry it is. And uh, it takes just a second of mixing to figure this out. I'm doing it in this pot only because it's the biggest vessel that we have in our little motorhome. Okay, so it's clearly quite quite wet still. So what I'm gonna do is add a little more flour. It doesn't make sense necessarily to cook certain things at home unless you look at it from the perspective of having fun, learning, meditation. So um, it's still a little bit wet. A little more flour. Feel what it feels like. It's kind of like a um, like a sponge almost. And you'll know when it's properly hydrated, you'll just sort of get a feel for it. Um, but this YouTube series is all about just getting your, wetting your appetite for, for foods more than uh, telling you exactly how to do it. Because you guys are smart, you're on YouTube and you're on our channel. And you can figure out sort of more of the exact stuff. But this is just to show you the process, show you what can be done, and take away the excuse of, oh, I live in a little motor home. So there's our dough, and that's properly hydrated. You can see it's sort of stretchy like this. I can still feel it, um, you know, it's a little bit wet, but it's a little bit tacky, but that'll dry out. And so we're gonna leave this to rise um, pretty much until it doubles in size. And that's probably gonna end up being, oh, half an hour. Your RV is probably warm, so you don't need to like put on an oven or anything to, or a heat lamp to warm up the bread. It's a perfect bread baking situation. All right, there we go. Let it double in size. Flour is so cool. It can uh, do almost anything. I mean, we can make pot stickers with it, bread with it, pizza with it, flatbreads like we're doing today. And I like to take it, uh, since we're in the RV, and put it in little baggies like this. It's a really moist environment. Putting it in baggies like this makes sure that it doesn't, uh, well, make a huge mess everywhere, but also so that the flour maintains its water soaking abilities. So I just wanted to give you that quick tip. Our flatbread is rising right now. It's almost there. Put a little bit of oil on it and uh, soon we will be using it. It's gonna be pretty exciting. It's been about 15 minutes. All right, and we're back and it's been about a half an hour. Our dough has nicely risen. I have here in front of us the ingredients, chicken. This is pre-cooked. Uh, tomatoes, sliced as thin as I could slice them by hand. Um, this is some canned mushrooms from a can and uh, it's just some mo mozzarella sliced up to be nice and small so it'll melt. I'm gonna take this dough. So what I'm doing now is I'm kneading it. First I'm uh, pushing out the air bubbles and then I'm folding it in and then I'm pushing them out again. And this is what's gonna produce the uh, gluten which is gonna allow it to stretch. So when it gets a little bit sticky, all you wanna do that to the side, take a little bit of flour, put it on the, on the uh, surface, put our dough here again. I'm taking this into fourths and I'm rolling it out a little bit with my hands and soaking up all that flour. And then I'm going to get a little bit more flour and then I'm going to make a rolling pin. Alright, so we're just going to use a bottle to kind of push this out. I want to point you to this fire hazard over here. This is our um, cast iron pan and what I've done is I've turned it over and I put it on the burner. The burner is going full blast down below and it's really really hot here. But this is how you're going to get a really nice pizza shop like crust. Check that out. Beautiful. Nice and flat and ready to go. People usually load up their pizzas way too full, especially the first time around. So make sure you only put a few ingredients on. If you feel like it was a little too sparse, um, you can always do more on the next one. I'm gonna put a little bit of tomato on there. And the mozzarella will be really 
creamy. But this is a nice thin pizza tray um, that we use as our main plate. So all I have to do actually is just put it on top of the pan. And what we want to do is make sure that it gets hot enough. It's going to cook the bread, but it's also hopefully going to melt the cheese and uh, heat up our ingredients on top. All right, so um, it's been on the stovetop now for maybe three minutes, and what we can see is it's starting to get brown at the bottom, and that's like a, it looks like a pizza dough, like a cooked pizza dough almost at the bottom already. So what we need to do is finish off the top, check out what I've got planned here. We're gonna take this plate, we're gonna do a little switcheroo, take it off of the pan, we're gonna turn off the burner because this pan has so much stored heat, I can, ow, whoa, I can feel it through the mitt, and we're gonna put the pan on top of the plate. All right, just like that. Creates a little oven. Leave it in there for about two minutes. What's gonna come out is a perfectly melted, perfectly cooked flatbread. It's been in there for about two minutes, maybe three, and uh, I'm gonna take off the pan and you can see what's happened here is the cheese is melted and the top of the crust has cooked really nicely. We could cook it a little bit more, but this is totally fine. This is really, really good. Um, you can see it's a little bit moist because the, the moisture has been trapped in here, but the uh, mozzarella is going to re-coagulate a little bit as it cools down and it's going to be more traditional pizza cheesy. The secret ingredient coming up next, this is the balsamic glaze. You're not being pretentious if you use this stuff. $4.95 in Safeway. And what you want to do, just take the squeeze bottle, you got your beautiful pizza here, and you just do a nice little drizzle, just like that. It makes it look fine dining, makes it taste fine dining. You can do one that way, you can do one this way if you really like balsamic, like uh, some of us do around here. And we've got a beautiful flatbread with balsamic, made in the RV on the stovetop. No oven required. Compact Cooking with Christian Holmes. Come back soon. We've got more videos coming up on the Hipster Gypsies YouTube channel, uh, especially from my partner Allie with her badass beauty series coming soon. Thank you very much. Next time, we're doing something really cool.